Prince Harry arrived in the UK today to visit his father after the announcement that King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer. And in anticipation of his visit, to no one's surprise, the UK media lost their minds. UK media outlets were flooded with stories of Harry's return, and it has left a lot of people asking why, when the monarch is sick, is the media so focused on the spare and not the heir? The first and most obvious reason is that if they are talking about Harry and Meghan, then they are not talking about William and Kate. William and Kate have a wall of protection around them right now that is not afforded to others. With the Princess of Wales not being seen since Christmas Day, and more questions than answers as to what is happening with her, the media is uncharacteristically not asking questions. And the more they speculate about Harry, the less the general public will speculate about Kate. But also, the media is salivating over the mere chance that Harry could come back. Remember the moment from almost one year ago when Harry surprised everyone by stepping out of that car at the London High Court? The press literally tripped over themselves, rushing to get his photograph. And there was also this moment, and the focus of this video is often the body language. Megan looks unusually timid, Harry seems to walk over and comfort her, but listen to what the female reporter says in the background. Despite the somber moment, there is still clear excitement over just seeing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And of course, there were both of these moments, when in a room full of royalty, every person and every camera were focused on Harry and Meghan. The UK media's hope that Harry and Meghan will come back and bring with them even a glimmer of the star power that they possess has been constant since they stepped back. This is even evidence in the lack of conversation about William. Since Charles's announcement, there has been little to no mention of William, and when he has been mentioned, it has been in connection to Harry. No one is asking where he is, what he will be doing to help, if he's visiting Charles. The entire narrative has been centered around Harry. And royal reporters spent the day letting out their true feelings, saying things like they hope that Harry's visit can heal the rift, William needs Harry, and so do the rest of the working royals. Helicopters circled Heathrow Airport waiting for Harry's arrival. The BBC carried live coverage of it. The press lined up hoping to get a glimpse of him, and every media outlet touted Harry's visit as breaking news. Harry returning to the UK to visit his father seems to be the biggest royal news since the coronation, and the interest may even be higher. The circus around Harry's return, all for just a glimpse of him, for something like this one photo of Harry sitting in the back of an SUV, I think is part of the reason that Meghan and their children did not come. The UK media have been desperate for photos of Archie and Lily for years, so imagine how much more chaotic this situation would have been if his family were with him. Although it is interesting to note that clearly Charles can provide proper security at the last minute when he wants to. Don't forget that the institution is a business and every business has a brand and their brand is the continued message that they have a positive impact on the charities they support as well as the community at large. They can connect with all groups of people and there is a positive benefit in the royal family's existence. But the members of that family, the ones who display those qualities, are the Sussexes, and the media absolutely knows that. But if the UK media is telling the truth, and that is a big if, William is the main barrier in healing the rift. 
And after writing article after article from the last 24 hours, saying how much they hoped the two brothers would reunite, the media had to be disappointed when it was announced there would be no meeting. The media is also reporting that William has not visited Charles since the diagnosis, and as we know, there were no photos or reports of him visiting his father in the hospital either. So their future king, their supposed global statesman, they have to be asking, is this how he will handle difficult situations in the future? And while they may never say it, this media frenzy around the coverage of Harry's return certainly makes it seem that the UK media would much prefer a prince with a heart big enough to fly across the world to see his sick father than the one who cannot be bothered to drive across town.